All right. Hi, my name is Sue Rowe. Um, I made, basically, I wanted something to interact with my Facebook um, to make a new way for me to experience my own Facebook, just because I scroll through all my photos. It's kind of like nostalgic feeling going through all my old photos. So I made a museum me, which is also a virtual reality app that you can experience in your browser. Um, so you go to the page. Right now it's still in development in developer mode because App still, I mean, Facebook still hasn't accepted my app yet, so <laughs> I have to add you as a developer in order for your Facebook photos to load. So right now, it just queried um, or made a fix, an API call to Facebook, loaded all of my photos and my statuses. So right now, this is the museum gallery, and you can navigate through it. Um, if you're on your phone, you can navigate through it just looking around, but um, on your browser, you can use it use during the um, use the WASD keys. And then you can zoom in, navigate around. Um, yeah, so I realized that I didn't, I haven't posted any statuses within the past three years, so I just posted a bunch, as you can see, <laughs> the private so that, that no one else can see it. But um, so if you go up here and you go closer to the wise chimp, you can, so the thing that you see, the little blue circle that you see, that's basically a cursor. Um, and that's where the click events or anything that you do with a controller, if you have a VR controller, that's what it's going to be logged. So if I clicked on the chimp, he posts one of the, my statuses and it chooses it randomly. So I can click on it again. Oh, that just did the same one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I wanted to make it more interactive, but I was having a lot of difficulty um, with the interactivity. So right now, you can go closer to a photo and you can click on it which a head emerges, and I wanted to basically map the, the photo onto the texture of the head, but that didn't exactly work out, but what I did get it to do is if you click on the head, it spits out a cube with the texture mapped onto it, and it gets bigger, <laughs> <laughs> and it does it again, <laughs> and again, and you can do this with other photos. So for example, if I wanted to go to this one photo of my English high school teacher sleeping during class. I'm gonna click on it. There's the head. I can, oh, there are two heads. I can click on it. There's the revolving cube. And you can make these cubes go away by just clicking on it. So you can follow the head. And just click on it. So um, <laughs> um, basically the two uh, technologies that I use, I only used a frame which George talked about in his um, Sackathon, and I used the Facebook API. The Facebook API was really, really tricky to use because it was hard to make, it took a lot of time to um, render the, uh, the photos after making the API call, and also A-Frame is very difficult to use. Just be aware in case you're going to use it because there's very little documentation, and it when it comes to asynchronous requests, um, A-Frame is pretty difficult to use, and especially with querying. Um, so there are definitely some optimizations that I can use with my um, my app, but thank you so much for listening. <laughs>